Today I want to talk to you real quick about Leonardo AI's newest feature, Motion, Image to Motion. This has just been released and right now it is pretty bare bones. If you have used stable video diffusion before, this is basically the same thing. You only have one slider to control and the rest is up to the AI. No text inputs, no camera motion. To use motion, you will have to pick an image from your personal feed. Right now you can only use images that you have generated on Leonardo AI. There isn't an option to upload your own images from elsewhere. I don't know if that will be an option in the future, but I would hope so. Let's go to personal feed here. And uh, here you can see a few of the images I have already tried out. The outcome is about what you expect from SVD. It's, it's basically a slot machine every time you run it. You might get something usable on the first one, or after dozens still get nothing even close. Some of these aren't too bad. We can try one of these, maybe this one. Click on this and then we can come up here and click image to motion. Select that and this window will pop up. Just like stable video diffusion, you have almost no control over the outcome of the animation. This one slider that goes from one to 10 is all the control you have. I would think eventually this will get more settings and a text prompt at some point, but for now this is it. You can also choose private or public. Keep it on private if you don't wish your generations to be sent to the community feed. Click generate. Then we can click here to go to the generation. For me, it has been taking around 30 seconds per generation. The entire process is very easy to do. I don't know what the plan is for this, if text prompting and camera motion are in the plans, but I would hope so. And there is the result, pretty much what you expect from SVD. You can try several times and hope for a better outcome. Just like SVD, this does very well when it comes to fire and water motion. So a big scene with fire or a boat on water has a good chance to have a decent outcome. This one isn't too bad. The eyes do a little half blink, which I get a lot in stable video diffusion, but otherwise usable. Picking images with people in motion has almost always ended up a mess for me, with a few exceptions. But in general, the animations with the least character movements end up looking the best. You can also choose an image from the community feed. I've tried a few from it just to see what I get. This can be used on the free 150 a day token plan. These generations do cost 25 a piece, so you can't do too many on that, but you can at least try it. And that's really it for now with this. Give a try and see what you get. I hope you have better luck than me and you make some really interesting AI clips. Thanks everybody.